Hi there, welcome to another edition of My ABC Dad, a place where we can learn together. My name is Craig and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a hundreds chart with a resource called the four page hundreds chart. And you can see it just over my left shoulder here on our have a go wall. And there it is, so that's what I'll be demonstrating how to make. So I hope you join me for that and let's get started. Okay, so for this uh, you'll need all four cards, uh, amount cards, with the background uh, dark grey and the amounts uh, white. And we'll notice that there's uh, a key here, so uh, 1 to 5 and all the way down is the first card. Here's the second card up to uh, the 10s. And then the third card here. Um, and the fourth card. So once you've got your, your uh, sheets or cards, next step is just uh, cutting out each of the uh, four sections, uh, cutting along the dashed lines as closely as possible. And you'll need a pair of scissors for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all four cards out and I'm gonna speed this up so that it doesn't take as long. And I'll join you again once I've uh, finished cutting. And then with the glue, um, I all like to start by just running a bit of the glue down um, the column, the border of the first card. And give it a healthy amount there. And then lining up the, the border with the second card. And just running your finger along. And there's the first half of the hundreds chart, complete. And then I start with the third card, running some glue down the border. And again, line them up so that the borders overlap, leaving just the cards, the border of the card showing there. There we go. So now the top half and the bottom half of the hundreds chart are ready to be attached. And again, just running a healthy amount of glue along the bottom border of the first and second parts of the hundreds chart, the cards, and Okay, so once you uh, have let it dry for a little bit, just to reinforce the back, I'm just going to run some scotch tape along the seams. Okay, so there is the hundreds chart, ready to go, and now I am going to put an overlay of vellum on it. So the first thing to do is cut out enough vellum to, to cover the hundreds chart. So be generous so that uh, 
you've got enough vellum to cover the entirety of the 100 stripe. So I'm just going to cut along using the lines on the back of the vellum roll here. Okay, so there is your hundreds chart, sealed, built, your amounts from 1 to 100, and you're ready to go. Now we just need to make the cards. Okay, so here is uh, one of four cards that I have for uh, the individual number, symbol, and word cards for the hundreds chart. And I'm going to demonstrate just cutting out these cards. And Okay, so here are all 100 cards cut out and ready to go to be um, either wrapped in vellum or laminated. And so the next step is to do that. Let's put those aside. And um, I've just got a little uh, <coughs> strip of uh, vellum here, plastic vellum, and card number 25. And what I'm going to do is just demonstrate um, creating, <clears throat> protecting one of the cards with plastic, uh, with vellum. And then I am going to laminate the rest of the cards. So here we go. Okay, so there we go. Number 25 is now sealed and protected with a little bit of uh, plastic vellum on the front and the back. And now I will demonstrate using a laminator. I picked this up uh, many years ago, but uh, it still works just fine. Uh, on Amazon, uh, tabletop, desktop laminators are pretty reasonable at the moment. So if... Um, if uh, plastic vellum isn't something that uh, you'd like to try, then uh, uh, get picking yourself up a, a laminator is a great option, and then some laminating pouches to to uh, run your cards through. So I'm just going to actually I'm just going to add a little touch of glue to the back of each one because I want to use as much of the plastic as possible and I find if I just stick them in there sometimes they shift around a little bit so I'm just adding a little glue to the back and I'll just turn the laminator, laminator on there so it's ready to go once I've got the sheet ready and I like to leave a little bit of a border around each card just to keep it, uh, keep the cards sealed. So you need to space out your cards here.
Okay, so there are 25 of the 100 cards laminated, cut out, and ready to be put onto the hundreds chart with a little bit of blue tag. Um, just because the uh, the plastic uh, covering of a laminated card can be quite uh, quite stiff, it's it's more flexible and it'll last longer. But I like to cut the corners just to um, to make it a little more user friendly for Elliot. Okay, so here we are. I have uh, laminated all 100 cards, and I've put the cards onto the the amount background of the hundreds chart here. And the last thing I need to do is just put numbers one through ten. So all I do is I I've got a little blue tack here, and I just put a little wee bit on the back of each of these cards, just a small amount, and stick them where they need to go. Okay, so there is our four page hundred chart complete, all the way down to 100. Okay, so that concludes this video session of how to build a hundreds chart with the four page hundreds chart, a resource that you can download from our website at www.mybcdad.com and you can have a go at creating this uh, for home or for school use. It does take a fair bit of time but the benefits are endless and uh, in future videos you can watch Elliot have a go starting with numbers from 1 to 20 and as he gets more comfortable with larger numbers and, and amounts we'll work our way down um, to include numbers activities with numbers all the way up to 100 okay so I hope you enjoyed that and you join us again th soon thanks bye